What's up guys and welcome back to Hitman. We have a brand new DLC mission that just dropped today. We're heading to New York. This is the Golden Handshake. Here we go, I'm excited. I think we're dealing with the bank here. I don't know, let's see what happens. Three families, that's all it took. The Ingrams, the Carlisles, the Stuyvesants. Tell us everything about them. The ivory towers are about to fall. And when we're done... Let's cross that bridge when we get to it. For now, the partners are all that matter. There's an issue. Of course there is. Olivia's tracked the names mentioned by the Constant, and they're dead ends. How dead? Obituaries for all three have appeared online. Accidental death, heart failure, lung cancer. They're covering their tracks. Faster than I thought. A contingency plan of sorts. The Constant wasn't aware of it. Well, it seems they didn't tell him everything after all. Something this big will leave traces behind. The Constant says to follow the money. Milton Fitzpatrick. The investment bank. It's a key Providence asset. Which you worked for. The director of the New York branch is a Providence operative. It's our best bet as a way in. I'll tell the pilot to turn the plane around. Right, gentlemen. Here's what we've come up with. The partners are transitioning between identities. But everything is so recent, the Milton Fitzpatrick bank records will still be intact. We've confirmed that the partners have active accounts there. However, the bank's records are remotely updated on a frequent basis. We may only have hours before any leads that could get us the new identities of the partners are gone forever. The data we need can be obtained in two ways. The bank's data core can be accessed through the basement vault, but getting inside the vault could be challenging. Alternatively, bank director Athena Savalas, head of security Mateo Perez, and head of accounts Fabian Mann each carry a partial backup drive with the data. We'll need all three drives to get the full data. Now, okay. we cannot risk the partners discovering the data breach. Eliminating the bank's director, Athena Savalas, would sever the last remaining Providence tie to the bank and keep our activities hidden. Okay, one more time. We break into the vault, extract the hard drive rack, and eliminate the director on the way out. We. You. <laughs> Good luck, 47. All right, so we gotta secure the data, kill the director, and we're good to go. In a huge investment bank in New York City. <laughs> Mission active. Dude, this is gonna be crazy. I'm really excited for this. This is, um, it's gonna be good. I love this game. This game's so good. I feel like we haven't had any content for this game for a while. So when I saw that this came out today, I was really excited. So, um, all right, I'm, I'm down for it. Let's just go for it. We're just gonna, gonna load things up here. And let's obtain the data and take out Athena. A rainy afternoon. Welcome to New York, 47. The Milton Fitzpatrick Bank is open for business, but it seems there's some sort of investigation underway. Expect increased security. Your target, Director Athena Savalas, can be found in her top floor office, overlooking the iconic Teller Hall. Head of security, Mateo Perez, is roaming between the vault area and the Teller Hall, talking to employees. And Head of Accounts, Fabian Mann, can be found on the investment banker floor and the top floor of the bank, driving the internal investigation. Remember, we need to secure the data from the bank's reinforced vault, or, alternatively, acquire three hard drives carried by the director and her two lieutenants, Man and Perez. Good luck, 47. So, I guess our question is, what do we want to do? I feel like entering the bank vault is going to be way more cool than pickpocketing three people. So, personally, I think that's what I want to do. Got to either retrieve the vault data core or the backup disks. The thing with 
retrieving the backup discs is you're gonna have to like knock people out and hide the bodies and I, I, I don't know. Part of it feels a little bit more complicated. Who knows how complicated getting into the vault is, but part of it also sounds not nearly as fun. So we'll see what happens here. Should we? I'd like a private meeting, bro. please. Oh, all right. Are you a client? I'm looking to become a customer. Perspective. I have a substantial private savings I'd like to deposit with your bank. Wonderful. Uh, how substantial? Seven figures. Seven? I see. Excellent. Yes, let's just find a nice private area then. Follow me, please. All right. I didn't catch your name, Mr. Reaper. So, what do you do for a living, Mr. Reaper? I'm in the retirement industry. Ah. Then we're in a very similar business. Have these past few years been as profitable for you as they have for us? Very. Excellent. Director Savalas has taken us to record profits. All it took was a creative approach to the elimination of, let's say, unwanted elements. I'm all for elimination. Let me just activate the booth privacy setting for one moment. This way nobody can see or hear anything that goes on in here. Practical. Perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> Gwen disguises him. I'll pick up the janitor key. And then we're going to be able to drag him in the thing. I knew we were going to be able to get some sort of a opportunity by being in here. Looks like that security guard is leaving. That's perfect for us. We should be able to get right in here. All right. Hey, good to see you. Can we access this guy's computer or anything? Anything of interest? There's a water thing over here. Apple, coffee. All right, not really seeing much. Guy over there who will recognize us if we get too close. You have a lovely what is day. this? Bye. Earphones? I'm gonna skip out on those. All right, I, I think... Hello, welcome to Pastor Frank. How may I help you? I think that's pretty much, pretty much looked through. Can we go up this way? Hello, sir. Ha-ha! <laughs> All right, I was wondering if we were gonna get yeah. patted down or not. Okay. Employees only. I'm going to keep going up top, maybe. Oh, we're trespassing. We are going to need a better uniform. Oh, have we talked to everyone? No, I think I saw him go into the bathroom. Been there for ages. Okay, doesn't sound promising. Milton Fitzpatrick is holding a round of job interviews. The final applicant was last seen going into the bathrooms where he's been for some time. Nerves, maybe? Where can we find that bathroom? Let me know when he comes out. Over here? Poor guy, he's super nervous about his job interview. You could say this is a really shitty situation. Shoot. We have that janitor key, so we're gonna be able to unlock this if we want, but I don't want anybody to be able to hear us. Also, are these just straight up co-ed bathrooms or what? She's gone. Do this. This sucks, bro. <laughs> All right. I am your uh, your interview we. Happy to be here, sir. Got a great resume in the retirement business. It's <laughs> so funny. Okay. Don't want to be late for my interview. Sorry, ma'am. I had some, some Taco Bell before I came here this morning. It was the only thing on the road that was open. Hey, good. Oh, there you are. Feeling better, I hope. Should I let HR know you're ready for the final interview? Uh, sure. I feel like a new man. I'm ready. Wonderful. Follow me, please. It's right down here. Best of luck in your interview, 47. Let's see where this will lead you to. Nervous? 
Don't worry. You'll do fine. Hello, Mr. Garcia. This is terrifying, dude. Been seen by another security camera. We're gonna have to find the security room if we can. Destroy it. Dude, I'm like sweating just thinking about this. Mr. Thomas, have a seat, please. Ah, Mr. Thomas. Good to meet you. I'm Kevin, and this is Melissa. We're both with HR, and we will be guiding you through this last test. It's important to stress that there's no pass or fail here. It's merely a standard personality test meant to gauge how you'll fit into our corporate culture. All right. If you're ready, let's kick this off, okay? I'm ready. Okay, so this is a very simple test. All you do is pick a card and tell us what you see there. Now, it's important to point out that there are no right or wrong answers here. It's just to give us a better impression of who you are on a psychological level. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes, I'm ready. All right, Mr. Thomas, uh, let's proceed then. If you will, please pick the card that most conjures up the word opportunity. Hmm. I mean, that looks like a hit, man. This looks like an eagle. And I'm not sure what that is. So I'm gonna pick that one. Okay. Oh, very good. This is an interesting one. What do you see here? Take in the whole image, please, and in as much detail as possible, tell me what this reminds you of. Wealth. Hmm. Can you elaborate on that? I see a big pile of money earned performing questionable actions. And how do you feel about that, bending the rules of the game? It's what I do. <laughs> Very good, Mr. Thomas. Very interesting observation, Mr. Thomas. They like that. Not what we expected, but, but that's perfectly fine. Let's take the next one, shall we? Pick any of the remaining cards that make you think of execution, please. <laughs> I don't think we're thinking of the same execution here, but... I'll pick this one. Good choice. Tell me, what is the first thing you see here? A guy Just with two silenced pistols. I Myself. see a figure in a large coat. Perspective skewed, as if I'm looking at him from the ground. He's got something in his hands. I... Go on. He's armed. Dual firearms. Large caliber pistol. I see. What else do you see? He's just finished a job. Perfectly executed. And who is this man? It's me. Very, very interesting, Mr. Thomas. Well, that's a very creative interpretation, Mr. Thomas. Uh, I think we've just got time for the last card. Okay. Please proceed. Uh, this last card should hopefully make you think of prosperity. This one. All right. Now look at it closely. Take a few moments. Then tell me, do you see an animal or an object? Animal. I see. What kind of animal? A bird. An eagle, perhaps. An eagle. Very That's what I saw, too. A forceful animal. Anything else? It's feeding on something. Feeding? On what? Like a fish. A carcass. The scene is reflected in a pool of blood flowing from the body. It's a vulture feeding on someone else's kill. That's very graphic, Mr. Thomas. Yes, brutal even. Right. Well, that was certainly unexpected. I don't know that this is going well, fellas. The results are pretty clear, Mr. Thomas. We don't have the perfect match for the investment banker position. However, you're just the man we need for our accounting department. <laughs> I have to agree with Kevin here. We need someone a little more cutthroat for the top tier here at the bank. Someone willing to go that extra mile, to really dive into character, as it were. But on a positive note, I do believe you will fit in perfectly with the more dry-witted accountants. What are you talking about? Great point, Melissa. There's no need to turn this little setback into a complete failure. Someone with your particular set of skills would be perfect for accounting. When can I start? That's the spirit. Tomorrow morning at 8. But you know what? Have a look around the bank. You've got clearance for the ground floor, first, and second floors. Get to know the space a little. And then, we'll see you tomorrow. I can't wait. I'm sure you can see yourself out, Mr. Thomas. All right. See you tomorrow. So that just unlocked the next floor for us, baby. Let's go. Uh, hello and welcome. Please have a seat. A dry-witted accountant, huh? Not really what I expected him to be doing once he retired as a hitman, but 
I guess, uh, you know, may have fallen on hard times. Can't complain as long as you have a job. At least we have one. She never comes down. She prefers to look over all of us from that watchtower of hers. Weird approach to leadership. Well, I mean, she gets results, but leadership? No. No. The only reason she'd come down here would be if the stock crashed. And then it would be to yell at us and hand out termination notices. So if I ever see her here, I should make myself disappear. As fast as you can. Interesting. She didn't seem like a very good boss, huh? Got an opportunity here we can check out. Letter of termination. One of the investment bankers at Milton Fitzpatrick is facing termination. He's got a private meeting with Director Savalis and has been told to register at the top floor reception. Well, terminations are your specialty, 47. Perfect! Sounds like a great opportunity to meet her. Shoot, we're gonna have to get downstairs. Quickly. Before he ends up going to that meeting. The thing is, this current, um... Current disguise that we have should be a really good one because we're just like a, a potential hiree, you know what I mean? We're not a uh, a regular worker that like a security guard would recognize or anything. Oh. Sir, if you want to come through, I'm going to have to pat you down. Okay. I know just the thing to be able to take care of that. So let me go in my private meeting space. Turn on the frosted glass. We can conceal our pistol in there. We can turn off the glass, and we're good. I'm free to be searched. Saw that trash can in there earlier. I knew it was gonna come in handy. Sir, I will have to pat you down if you want to come through. Go for it, sir. I don't have anything on me. Just relax. You'll be on your way in a sec. Okay, let's go, sir. Thank you. I hit every quota they threw at me. How... how could she do this? I can't be fired. We're gonna need to do something here. to try this office I feel like giving that bit let's go dude perfect and now if we need it we have a police officer or like a security officer's uniform are we clean here as soon as he comes back to drink this water we're gonna take him out I, I don't think anybody's gonna be coming this way What's up, sir? Gotcha! Let's go. So perfect how the door opened up into the room and we, we were behind the door, dude. Oh my gosh, I can't get over that. You guys are looking at the, uh, the most recent ex-employee of this investment bank. We're looking good. Gotta love my, uh, my sweater vest here. Sweater, knitted sweater, whatever we have going on. So we need to get up top. How do we get up top? There's a bathroom over there. Stairs. Executive access only? I don't think we're gonna be able to go up through there. So are we just supposed to let anyone from IT in there? If you, you want frisk to pass me? through, I gotta patch you down. Sure thing, bro. Sir, I'm just doing my job. I gotta pat you down. Sorry about that. No problem. Clean as a whistle, sir. Go on. 
Dude, we've got to remember where that, that room is, though, because right. if we can dress up as now a security grab. guard and then carry a gun around, that would be so clutch. What do we currently have? We've got our coins and we've got fiber wire, so we're going to be able to, to kill her pretty easily. I'm here for a meeting with Director Savalas. I don't think... Oh. Yes, of course. That's right. Go inside. Thank you. That did not sound very promising. Where is she at? Is it back behind here or is it in here? The CEO's office. And that's our lady. Mr. Jackson, have a seat, please. Thank you. Mr. Jackson, as you must be aware, we've been running some numbers internally to measure the flexibility and productivity of people working here at the bank. Work hours, output versus input, sales portfolios, late nights and early mornings, things like that. I've been reviewing personnel files for the past few weeks, and a couple of files stood out. Yours, for instance. Is that so? I have quite specific expectations when it comes to my employees. How you appear and act reflects directly on me and this building. And, well, you've certainly managed to stand out. Please don't Mr. do it, ma'am. Tell me, do you knit those sweaters yourself? <laughs> or does your wife do that? A man needs a hobby, Miss Savalas. Guard. Leave the room. What? I need a moment alone, Mr. Jackson. Seriously? So, They're Mr. all leaving? Jackson, I'm pleased to inform you that you will be able to explore your hobbies in even greater detail in the near future. Don't get me. Stop! Oh! We gotta hide her somewhere. And we gotta make sure it doesn't get on camera. I don't, I don't think that's gonna do it, dude. What was this? CEO key? And we got our backup disc. We can't disguise as her, can we? Can we put some makeup on or something? No, that's not gonna work. We gotta hide her body. Yes, 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 yes. All three guards are all standing outside. That was the dumbest thing that I've ever seen somebody do. You're gonna fire someone and have your security leave when you're like some sort of a crazy big wig, you know, big shot? Doesn't seem like the best idea. All right. So step one is down. Step one is complete. We probably shouldn't leave from that way. I feel like that would be weird. So we're gonna leave from this way. Nobody suspects a thing. Do we almost dragged her body in front of that security camera though? That could have been so bad. So we're back in our little uniform room. Dude, this place is crazy. We're gonna retrieve this Bartoli. The, the security guard pistol, and then where was the security guards right here? All right, looks good to me. So, ideally, we would be able to just walk right on down to the bank from here. Down to the vault, I mean. How you doing, sirs? Brothers in arms? Keeping this bank nice and protected and safe? I appreciate what you're doing out here, gentlemen. Here we go. Whoa. Sick gun, bro. Well, that was dangerous. But we're good. This is the vault, really 47. Sorry, the the data core should be behind that large steel door. Hmm. The vault looks even more fortified than we feared. If I'm not mistaken, only high-tier security is allowed in here. Access seems to be restricted to the use of a keycard of some sort. Yeah. Hang on. There's a similar security hub on the second floor. You might be able to acquire what you need there. Great. Thanks for nothing. Okay. I'm, I'm down. Alright, we're gonna follow that. 
So we've got to go disguise ourselves as a high security guard, and it looks like we might have the opportunity upstairs somewhere. So, hmm. We should watch out for that guy. That's what I was... Oh, shoot. He's going to stop right there. Hope he doesn't see us. That's what I was just going to say. We should probably switch back to the prospective employee, the one that came for the job interview, because we could freely go anywhere with him. So I'm going to come in here, make sure we close this. Let's deposit our weapon back. And then fired banker, job applicant is what we want. Because this guy could pretty much freely go wherever he wanted and nobody was really paying him any mind. He had access to the first two floors. So we'll see. Yeah, nobody up here suspects him, okay. Ooh, ooh. My fault. So that is a secure room. Those are high security officers. This guy's gonna be an issue. They do have a locker back in the corner that we could put both of these dudes in if we could get in there, but we've just gotta be able to get in there. This is a tough one. Oh, there's a locker over here. Okay. Well, that's gonna be our first, our first method of business. Please tell me nobody's going to be coming up these steps. I'm going to shut the doors and then take them out. Let's go. Oh! I didn't realize he could get back up. I, I thought we'd already knocked him out. Oh, that, that's a high security guard right there. We're good. I'm gonna pick up his weapon. We are now a high security guard. All right, boys. I didn't know he was a high security guard. Oh, we've gotta obtain a high security key card though. Is that up here as well? Is it on the floor at all? These guys are still not gonna trust us. Now there's some sort of a scientist in there. We could potentially break that open. Shoot. Come here! Security key card. Oh my gosh. He, he was in that room and he started coming down the stairs and I ran from him. I didn't realize he was going to have a security key card. I thought we were going to be able to take his lab coat. And then we could, uh... We could, what's it called? Go into the room and, like, take out the other two. But that makes things even easier. Okay. Can we disguise as him? I don't think we can. I don't think we're big enough. Okay. So we are now a high security guard. We've got a high security key card. And I think we should be clear... To head straight down to the vault. Now, the thing is is some of these security guards may not, may not like this. They may recognize us. Don't get restless. So we've got the key card. Excellent, 47. Now all that remains is to get inside the vault itself. It might be a little warm in here, but those exhaust fumes are just warm. Who the hell is how are we going to do that? Okay, there's a place to hide bodies. There's a cabinet with chloroform. Okay. Should, should probably hide that in our jacket and not walk around with that. We've got a couple more guys out here. 
Hmm. And then that leads upstairs. My dad came by the bank last week. Lives out of town, but drove in to see where I work. You could potentially turn on. Oh, here. Afterward, we went to this little diner over on Fifth. Shoot. We can turn. As soon as that guy leaves, we can delete all the security recordings so that they don't know we were here. We'll get bonus points for that. I need this guy in here to leave. Or we could just make him leave. Come on over, bro. What the hell, man? He's down. Dump him in here. I kind of want to try to take out the other two guards in the other room. I'll pick up his weapon. Okay, so that's one down. Okay. I'm gonna take this guy out as well. Hey, could you find out what that was? Absolutely. I didn't see anything in here, sir. I was watching the whole time. Except for your face on the ground. Okay. Now the problem is, we aren't gonna be able to hide another body after this. So far, it seems like people don't really come through here. So I'm... What? I'm not against just taking all these guys out. And we can hide hey, them in this room. Check it out. Got it. Hey there. Oh. 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 Let's go. Oh. Oh. Knock him out. <sighs> and I want my coin back. Let's make sure that we destroy all the camera evidence. We'll get those bonus points. Is there anything we can do here to shut off the security? Oh. It's this. We're missing the key card though. We've got flash grenades and stuff in here. Where would this key card be? Is there something in that box? Is there something? Ah! Aha! The vault key card. So now the system's enabled. We should be able to step out of here. And open the vault. Bro! Great work, 47. You now have access to the vault. Probably want to turn off the security system. And it looks like the data that we want is right over here. Good work, 47. That's the evidence secured for now. Careful not to lose it. If anyone sees you with that rack, my guess is you'll draw a lot of unwanted attention to yourself. That's the last objective completed. Exfiltrate the bank, 47. Miss Hall will want to have a close look at that data. So that's great and all, but now we have to leave the bank. We can't even leave down there. That garage was locked. We don't have that available. We've got to leave the bank without anybody seeing us. There's a night. How? We just need to examine this a little bit. All right, so we have an exit over there, or this is the closest exit. There are three guards. I have... No idea how we're gonna get out. Hold on. Well, let's go check the other one out then. I'm I'm lost. Hold on. I want to see Why can't we leave here? Oh, we need the key from the truck. Oh, okay. We we can get that. So the question is where are these truck drivers? I'm imagining they're gonna be down here They've got to be What's going on in here? Any of these guys look like 
vault truck drivers to you? Three weeks later. Dude, you guys are not gonna believe this. I have been running around this entire map looking top and bottom. I knew it had to be on one of these security guys, and I kept thinking, why was that one security dude sleeping? Like, it's gotta be something to do with him. And I've been looking around outside, I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to take him out. There's too many guys. We're gonna have to kill this whole crowd. As it turns out, the key is right here. The money transport key right next to the sleeping security guard. So now, we should be able to head on out and take that data let's get it boys this was a fun one this this was my favorite mission yet without a doubt 100 percent it was it was smaller like it's a smaller mission area but i almost kind of like that it was a lot more intense it was a lot more action-packed and there it is So it looks like we actually have another mission story that takes place on this level. Obviously, we did the heist and the hostile termination there, but uh, the expose, I don't know. Do you guys want to check that out? If you guys enjoyed this and you want to see it, then uh, let me know. Leave a comment down below, drop a like, and uh, we can definitely make that happen. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.